Hello everyone, I'm Maria from Code.org. Thanks for joining us today for a special Hour of Code video chat to celebrate Computer Science Education Week. Today we have Carly Kloss joining the Q&A. Carly's an entrepreneur and one of fashion's top models who plunged into her very first programming course this past year. Please join me in welcoming Carly. Good morning. You all look beautiful. But I'm excited to be here and I'm excited to talk to you guys. I appreciate um, this opportunity to, to, to connect with you. I wish I was actually there in person uh, and, and could meet you guys, but um, this is kind of awesome that I'm sitting in my kitchen and I can talk to, to you guys all over the country. So I'm excited to be here. So I'm ready to begin. Excellent. Our first question is from Fort Greene Preparatory Academy in Brooklyn, New York. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, speech. Take your question. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> how does the model industry and technology work together? Well, first of all, you look beautiful. Even a little fuzzy in this, but very beautiful. Um, yeah, I, you know, surprisingly, the modeling industry and the technology world are connected in many more ways than you would imagine. Um, I started modeling when I was 15 years old, actually 14 years old, so probably the age of a lot of you guys out there. Um, I, so in the last eight years of working in the fashion industry and as a model, I've seen the way that technology has really impacted the world, but specifically my job as a model. Um, it's essentially given me a, a, a voice. Um, you know, platforms like Instagram, like Twitter, like Facebook, give me an opportunity to sort of show who I am and, and sort of what I think and connect with people all around the world in a way that just was never possible before. So as a model, um, you know, I'm able to, to connect with you guys through my platforms, through Instagram. You know, I can share with you what I'm doing today or, you know, backstage at Fashion Week. I can share that with you. Um, and, and I think that's really exciting because uh, that just was never possible before. It was the modeling industry and the fashion industry were just always very sort of small um, and exclusive and if you weren't backstage at the show you had no idea that it even was going on so through these sort of platforms I can connect uh, with anybody who cares to follow um, and the other really interesting cool part is that I think in fashion you know there's so many cool ways that technology and fashion are sort of working together like I don't know if you guys um, Every, anyone has like a jawbone or a wearable tech, like a, a Fitbit or, you know, all of, all of a sudden uh, wearable tech has been on the runway. Um, Google Glasses, Diane von Furstenberg had Google Glasses in her runway, um, Tori Birch also. So a lot of these fashion designers are realizing that fashion um, and technology, there's unlimited potential uh, to work together. So. Surprisingly, there's a lot of crossover, um, and and it's been cool because I've seen, I've seen it happen throughout my career since I was 15. Since I was your age, uh, I was I had a job uh, working in the fashion industry, so I've I've learned a lot. Our second question is from Wild Lake Middle School in Columbia, Maryland. Ooh, hello. Go ahead. Oh, I should say the question. Okay. How did you get started in coding? And, so, oh. oh, hi, my name is Hadia. What inspired hi. you? Hello, my name is Caleb. And who helped you get started? <laughs> These are awesome questions. Um, 
especially since I don't think it's normally what you would expect a model in fashion to care about coding. Um, and, and I think that's why I really enjoy it, is because it's something so, uh, it's so something that, you know, you would think I have no reason to know or to care about. But I don't think it matters if you're a fashion model or if you're, you know, a student in middle school or high school, you know, with that skill set, with knowing how to code, or at least even understanding that it's the way that everything is built, I think that's so important. Um, even if you're not, you know, a programmer and that's not the career you want to go into. Great. We'll move on to our third question from um, Gateway High School in Monroeville, Pennsylvania. Cool. Okay, so our school wanted to know what the coolest thing you've made so far with code is, or was. Okay, so I'm very proud of this because I think drones are amazing, kind of scary, but they're a really exciting technology. And I learned how to program drones to, to essentially just fly. And uh, we were practicing sort of within a classroom space, so they didn't we didn't even have to think about factors like wind, like rain, but the idea of programming a drone to, you know, potentially deliver something, that's what I was playing with. So, I don't know, um, I'll tell you a little bit about me. I have, uh, outside of my modeling career, I have this sort of charity project that I, I have a cookie line, like a vegan healthy but yummy cookie line uh, and I thought it would be cool to deliver the cookies via drone or at least potentially someday down the line deliver my cookies via drone so I, um, I, I programmed the drone to sort of fly across the room and it sounds really easy but it was surprisingly complicated because there were just so many things that you have to think about you know how fast to fly the drone how far it was really fun though, um, but yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of a nerd. Uh, if you can't pick that up by now, but um, programming drones was probably the funnest thing I've learned so far. Very cool. All right, our fourth question is from Shelburne Community School in Shelburne, Vermont. Our fourth question is from Shelburne Community School in Shelburne, Vermont. Hi, I'm Delaney, and in your opinion, why do you think more girls should study computer science? So, when I was in school, uh, middle school and high school, computer sciences wasn't offered uh, as an option even to, to boys or girls, just to any student. And I really wish I would have been exposed to this, uh, the opportunity to understand It is the language that essentially writes everything. It's it's why we're, you and I are able to talk right now over uh, Google Hangout is because somebody wrote that with, with code. And that's something that I just have learned in the last year of taking lessons and the teacher learning the basics of computer sciences. Um, I, I don't really want to be a, a, compu a computer scientist, I, 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 but I, I'm fascinated by coding and I want to have the ability to write code. I don't think, you know, I don't think you have to, um, you don't have to go into that as your major in college to, to care. And I think that's, that's the cool thing is that you guys are in middle school and high school now and you're already thinking about it. You're already starting to understand uh, that it, that it exists and that it's a really powerful language that if you learn, you have unlimited opportunity in any industry that you want to go into. You know, you can go into fashion with this skill set. You can go into any industry. And I think that's really empowering as a girl or as a boy. But as a girl, I think it's really cool if you know how to code. Great. All right, our fifth question is from Westerly High School in Westerly, Rhode Island. Oh. <laughs> 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 
That's not us. There we go. Hi, we were wondering, how do you believe technology will evolve to impact daily life in the future? How um, I wish I had a crystal ball, because I would make some investments in those companies that are going to disrupt the world. And you know, uh, I, I think it's it's been really exciting to live in New York City, where so much is happening. So many companies are here building, uh, building sort of taking an idea and building it out into an app or into, you know, um, a business that is transforming how we live. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know how, wh where we'll go, but I, I just know that we are the next generation and we are the ones that, you know, if with this ability to, to speak this language and to, to take an idea and build it into... Uh, a product or an app or you know it, it's it's like a superpower you know having this ability is uh, is is you can do anything and so I don't know I, I think um, I, I think that it's impacted my daily life quite a bit and that's why I'm taking interest in you know even just understanding um, how it's written and it's really cool because I you know living in New York City even though I work in the fashion industry, I've been able to meet and talk with a lot of different founders of Instagram, of Twitter, of Snapchat. You know, I've met all the people that have built these companies, and I'm fascinated by that. I'm fascinated by them. I think that, um, and and they're normal people, just like us. You know, and I, I think that's the really cool part is that, you know, we we can build anything. You know, with just understanding learning how to speak this language. Um, and I think that's really, really kind of a superpower in my opinion. Right. Our sixth question is from Alden School in Duxbury, Massachusetts. Hi. Um, Hi you've been all over the world modeling and you've met all kinds of people from different backgrounds. How do you think learning code helps to connect us all as a world community? You're right. I have I've traveled quite a few languages, and it's hard to communicate. You know, even just getting around. Uh, so, over the last eight years, I've traveled to Paris quite a lot for my job, um, and I've learned French along the way, which is you know, just completely transformed uh, my ability to connect and speak with people. Um, and I think the interesting thing is, again, you know, Ruby, uh, you know, I'm, I'm learning to code Ruby, and like, I can write something in Ruby that somebody in Paris, somebody in Tokyo, you know, can, can read as well, you know, and, and build off of. It's this universal language that I think almost even simplifies uh, connecting with people around the world in a way that is really exciting because it means that together as a global community we can build things by actually even working together even if we don't speak the same you know English or French you can you can work together to build something uh, using code and I think that that's that's pretty cool great our last and seventh question is from Schuylkill Valley High School in Leesport, Pennsylvania. Hi, my name is Genesis St. Tron. What, what are you most proud of, of accomplishing thus far in your career? Um, I, I, I feel really lucky to have the job that I have. I really like my job, um, mainly because it it gives me an opportunity to do cool things like this, hang out with you guys on a Thursday morning. Uh, you know, you guys are in classrooms all around the world, or all around the country at least, and I'm sitting in my kitchen. Even though we're having technical difficulties, it's still pretty cool uh, that we can connect. And I, I really, I think the coolest part of, of my career is that I feel like I get to 
see, uh, I, I get to see firsthand the impact that technology is having on, for instance, my job and my industry. Um, but also through this job that I have and these platforms like Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, uh, I can use that to talk about things or that, that interest me and that I think are important to share, like how powerful this skill set is to be able to uh, to be able to write code and if nothing else to even just know that it exists. You're really beautiful by the way. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Carly, for your support of Code.org and for being such a great inspiration for all of us. Uh, everyone, let's give Carly a big round of applause and thank her. I'm jealous. So I want to be in class with you guys. That looks All like right, way everyone. more fun. Have a great day. Keep coding and go for your dreams. Thanks for joining us today. Bye bye. All right, guys. Good job. <laughs>